Antoinette, work has been going to clean up this mess since noon yesterday, and there is still more to do here. Also, once you look past this train car that you see right now, the track is damaged and that will need to be repaired too. Slow progress at the site of a train derailment in air. A train car parked on a side rail here tipped over yesterday just after 11 a.m. Its containers tumbling off. So it's ongoing. It could take another, say, another day or two is what I would guess by the progress they've made so far. The Fitchburg commuter rail line is right next to the scene of the derailment running at a reduced speed through the area. People who live and work here tell New Center 5 they had noticed the tracks banking to one Hold side. On. At least it happened, you know, down in an industrial area and into the woods, so, you know, not out on the street or in a parking lot or something like that. Ayers Fire Chief says the investigation into what caused the train to topple over continues. It was carrying trash and recycling. CSX says there was no impact to the environment. Chief Timothy Johnston says some trains passing through here do carry hazardous materials. Could be LNG, things like that, uh, and other commodities that they um, need to be placarded. So for the most part, you know, as the train goes through, it's pretty safe, but can be rest assured that you know if something were to happen happen here at the local local level we'll take care of it and if we need to reach out to any state partners we'll do that too Five train cars in total toppled over here yesterday. CSX, CSX, which shares this line with Norfolk Southern, says four of those train cars have been cleared away, but one remains. We're live in air. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.